Got it done on three. Beat success on six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Beat success. There are over 30,000 high school coaches throughout the United States, and only 9% of them are African American. In the New York Catholic League, head football coach Kamal Roy is just one of them. Coach Roy has led the Holy Trinity Catholic Titans to two straight championship seasons and has sent a dozen seniors to colleges all over the country. While pushing through adversity, both on and off the field, Coach Roy finds himself up against a new type of opponent, the biggest his team has ever faced. Success. Success is our opponent. Every time we step out here, every time we step on the practice field, every time we step on the game field, success is our opponent. Just make sure that we're locking in to do our job. Remember what our biggest opponent is this year, is success. Our biggest opponent is success. Make sure that you beat success today. It's easy for you to be relaxed because you were successful. It's easy for you to just take it easy because you got an offer and we won 10 games. Don't do that today. Our opponent every single week is going to be success. All right, everybody good with that? Let's get this done. Let's go! Let's go! I can honestly say that when they scored their last touchdown, the scoop and score, I kind of, in my head, I was just like, this might be the day that we lose. I'm be up to y'all five. Y'all been doing a great job. Y'all been doing a great job. Just keep doing your job well and lock in. believe in the fact that, that we have prepared them for that. There's something to be said for being adversity for somebody that you love. They know that you care, so therefore they embrace the adversity. What happens sometimes is when they leave you, they can't really discern whether people care first. They kind of just view the adversity and they say, all right, well, that person either likes me or he doesn't. So I'm hopeful that those guys can understand that sometimes if you're receiving adversity from someone, there is a level of care and love that is coming with it, and that should make you a little bit more comfortable about receiving the adversity, receiving the challenges. That's the most clear helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact I've ever yeah. seen not get cold. Look, I just, oh. I just freeze the I mean, frame, look at it. We lost today, but we ain't losing forever. Let's get back to work, we good? Right. Don't do anything. Nope. If you have got, got, got a championship to win, get better on three, tighten up on six. Say it loud and be proud. One, two, three. Get better. One, five, six. It was just hard to beat more Catholic again because it was hard to beat them the first time. Ain't no drowning on this side. Swimming, fighting sharks and piranhas and <laughs> everything. We here. It's the funny thing about what happens with people. They think because they got more, they could do more. We've been doing more with less this whole time. You'll see. Chase that feeling. Chase that TFL feeling. You understand what I'm saying? Chase that touchdown feeling. Chase that touchdown pass feeling. Chase it, man. Feel it. You got to chase that every time you can. This is a last for everybody today.
was a culmination of a lot of good things. Our game is predominantly African-American. I think that our kids need to see people in positions of success and power that look like them so that they can dream and they can aspire. I think the importance level of that kind of transcends the game 